You've seen a lot lately, people using social media to reconnect with their long lost loves or returned items come back to them, long lost items, okay? But this time, good old fashioned and once the only option to connect, a piece of snail mail took one person back to 1917 thanks to a yearbook. Local 15 web content specialist Karen Reed, here's your music. You have the story on uh, who received such an amazing find. That's right. Shirley Franklin found the yearbook at a garage shell in Helena, Oklahoma in 2000. And there it stayed with her even as she moved five times. It was a 1917 Kansas yearbook. So this year, Shirley decided she wanted to find its rightful owner. But that would prove kind of hard. So Shirley said she started weeding out the common names of people in the yearbook and there remained Leon Witten. He stood out, Shirley said, because he was a fullback on the football team, a big guy back then. So Shirley sent a letter and that letter made it in the hands of Leon's son and his wife. We were just amazed and had so much fun looking through uh, the yearbook. I think that was so nice of you to find that. <laughs> and send it to Keith. That's great. Of course. It needed to be with the right family. I feel like I made a new friend today. <laughs> Long overdue but perfectly paired, Franklin and the Witten family now have a bond that will go beyond a book. The family say they've already set up another date to meet again. How sweet is that? How she took the e extra effort to bring that smile to him. That's something he will never forget. Fifteen years later, she said she bought it at a garage shell in Oklahoma and it was just randomly in this box of dishes that she ended up buying. Didn't know it was in there. And then his, I bet he never thought he would see that again. Ever. That, I, mm -hmm. I like stories like I that. I do too. That's like, that shows you there's good folk right. still uh, amongst us. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Taryn. Well, speaking of good, <laughs> let's talk about pets. We love pets, right? We do. Mondays, that's what we do. Coming up, we have a lovely lady we'd like to introduce you to and a lovely man, <laughs> Dr. Bentley. He is here right now. He's going to answer your questions. Call this number, 251-602-1525. Hey, Robert Sale, what's your weather like? I've got a hyper-local forecast to help you plan your day. Pinpoint forecasts every day on Local 15 News. Next, the key. No, I never thought I'd be here. I'm a lucky man. I can't believe I'm an actress. Tonight at 6.30 on Local 15. Do you suffer from severe chronic migraine headaches? If you are 18 to 55 years of age, you may qualify for a research study of an investigational medication for migraines. Call 251-414-1984 or visit our website, www.coastalclinicalresearch.com to apply online. I'm Judge Mathis, your favorite judge. I was raised in Detroit, Michigan, so I know a thing or two about being tough, getting hurt in a